So yeah, I just get hold of it. All right, okay. I'll just uh, call you in the next day or two to get her number for me. Take care. All right, thanks. Thank you.
which leads me, leads me to believe in everybody that I've told this information, that this didn't have to happen. That there could have been, because of the board, this could have been uh, done differently. We could have still had our water on and had the project go forward. Or we did have, you had the option to take extensions throughout our irrigation system, season rather, and uh, get leave us with water and not without that you chose not to take those extensions. And this Yes. Every agency that has funded this gave you the, gave you the option to take an extension and you said we didn't need it. Well, I don't know. I asked several times on several people. You, you can get extensions. You have to start within that point. If the project takes longer than that, you can get extensions, yes, because it takes longer. They, you still have to start the project prior to that. No, well, I, you know, I, we can argue all day. That's what I was told. So, um, um, I, the last, the last thing that I was told today by Arby Carr was that we had a field trip in May. Nothing. That you had a field trip in May and had all the contractors that were going to be bidding on this particular job up there, and they at that time asked you because they couldn't believe that. You didn't have some concerns about turning our water off in the middle of August, and uh, well, sure there was concerns. There was concerns. Very. I personally asked the question, why we can't postpone it, and they says it has to be started before September. That's why? Not the information. That's not the information I'm getting. It's a coho salmon thing. It's you can't do in-stream work during the spawning period. They just don't allow it. They you, they don't allow that. That, that, well, from the, the entities that are we're funding you. So, but anyways, moving forward, Linda. I mean, what's done is done. I mean, we can't so, undo. We can't unring the bell. So, well, we, I mean, I don't know what your goal for us to do now is. Um, the whole uh, diversion dam has been torn out. Concrete's got to get poured. I mean, well, we if we shut it down and tear everything out. Somebody's got to pay to go back in and no, rebuild it. That's not what I'm asking you to do. At this point in time, a lot of us have been up there to look at the job. If you poured the concrete and stopped right now and didn't go forward with the pipe, then we could we could open up. Oh sure, sure. Is everybody willing to spend the money to? I mean, the contractor is going to charge more money to do that. How much? Why would that? Why? And why? I mean, why? Because it's because they're energy. staging to do that, they got to leave and come back to put the pipe in. I mean, we talked about that, but we, you know, we're our, we didn't have the money. We had just enough money to do the project. We didn't have the money to stop him and have him come back. But I don't know how to answer that because that's that's not the information well, that, I've been given. The pipe's got to be poured into that head gate, don't it? Well, no. I think that's. Almost not what I was told. Uh, not be poured into I it. think the way that slide gate is, I don't think the pipe. No, the pipe would be is going to be put in later. So, and, you know, there was an option that it came. And, and I can call Reiner and say, you know, what's it going to cost? And we don't have the grant money. I mean, we're going to have to pay the bill. The so Gold Hill Irrigation District is. That would have been something that we would have done in the get in the beginning. Uh, the other thing was that there could have been different ways of doing it. The pumps, and you, you alluded to that again, it was too much money. But we didn't ask for that funding. Maybe that would have been funded to us as well. Well, maybe. We, we're, you know, $100,000 short as it is. I mean, we, we, they gave us an estimate of what it would do, and all the bids were way over. So we don't even have the money to do the whole project so as it is. So you started the project without money to complete it? We, we talked with all the people. Um, <laughs> who were giving the grants and stating that we were going to try to do it in a phased, uh, two-phase system. So we've got enough money to get through the second manhole, and then they're going to look for grants that next year, maybe at the end of the season, we can finish the piping. Well, then it wouldn't matter if we stopped the piping right now and just add it up to the, the next phase. Can't you do the, the I mean, finish the head gate you know, the, that you're doing now, more of that. Right, but and what I'm telling out. you is, the, the bid we have from the, from the contractor is the pipe and the head gate now. If he's going to pull off and come back, there's going to be more money involved. How much more money? Well, I don't know. We'd have to ask him. I mean, I, I was up there yesterday and I talked to the, one of the guys contractors there, and I asked him point blank. I said, well, does the pipe have to be in after you pour it here? 
He goes, no, it doesn't. I mean, we can do that later. It's up to the Gold Hill Irrigation District whether they want us to put the pipe in now, or we can do it later. We can do it in October, November, December. It doesn't well, matter. Well, the other problem when I broached that with ODF and W was then they've got to do another fish salvage. So if we open it back up without the pipe put in and then shut it off, they're going to have to come back and do a whole nother fish thing, and I don't know what that costs, so you've got, yeah. you know, and and they, everybody acted like they really didn't want to go down that road, so who didn't, who, who didn't want to go down that road? ODF and W and I don't know, all the entities, NOAA, well, of course, they NOAA Fishery, they don't want to so, know anything, what's going to happen? Thanks, God. I, I don't want to interrupt Linda, but I want to adjust what this gentleman just said over here. He, he made a statement, why did we start this project if the funds weren't in place? And that's been my con contentions all along, is why did this start when the funds weren't in place? I know about grants. I deal with them all the time as a board of director here. And the grants weren't in place, and the permits weren't in place. So, you know, every, everything is in place. But the funds aren't there. The funds to do the whole project, are not it's there. a thousand feet of pipe. There's enough funds to do... 600 feet of pipe or something. Okay, but I'm saying for the overall project, right. the funds are not there. Well, and they talked about, do we want to just stop doing this and not do it this year, do it next year? It's like, now we're, we had to buy a permit from the railroad. That took us months to do. That's a 60 day permit. And we got all the permits all in place. Uh -huh. We're not waiting another year and having all that work. I mean, we've got hours going through okay. all this stuff. And my way of thinking and, and my my dealing with grants is we don't start a, we don't buy a fire truck when we only have grants for half of the payment for the fire truck we, we wait till all the grant money is in then we buy the fire truck so what I'm trying to say is I feel that this project shouldn't have been started until all the pieces of the puzzle were put in place well and we could have but then we would have been we would have lost those grants. We would have had to start over to get more grants. We would have had to reapply for all the permits. We had to, would have had to pay for stuff we'd already paid for. We, all the people that were giving us the grants agreed because usually it's got to be a finished product or you don't get right. the grant money. Everybody was on board. Everybody saw what was happening and said, yes, this will work. We'll go to the second manhole. We'll, it's a natural place to stop. And... Okay. They're already working on getting the money. They were maybe even hopefully that maybe by the end of, you know, before winter hits, they might even have some money. Okay, so let's be pessimistic here. So we've got grants to start the project, but we don't have grants to finish the problem, project. So what happens if we don't get those additional grants to finish? Well, there it's on record somewhere. I, I told them that if we start this project, and we do the two phase like we're doing a two phase project right. and for whatever reason you don't get the money to finish the project or you know something changes that we are not held liable to finish it on our with our own money and that we are not liable for any non compliance because of that so if if for some reason they just quit getting grants and say we're not going to finish it mm -hmm. It's on record that says that we're not, you know, we're not liable to do any of that. And, Who is? And we're not held. Pardon? Who is? Well, that that the, everybody signed off that says if it doesn't get finished, we've got enough pipe that it's, it'll be fine. But they want it finished. Scott, let me ask you when. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Linda. That, that's okay. Um, I, I can't think of everything at once anyway. Um, when uh, Kurt and I were talking we talked last time, you didn't have any of this information to give to us, but like calculations and what have you, and it's just, it's people that are much more knowledgeable than I say that what they've seen at the dish is not going to work for us. And I think what, what really everybody here is so upset about is that, I know you're going to go back to the, you know, well, we told you in January that you could have come to the meetings and found all this out, but there was no urgency in that, in that letter that we got in January with our bill, and it didn't say August, it said October. Well, it said it, said it could be August. No, it didn't. No, it, 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 it says May, September. All right. 
And that's why we didn't come to meetings because we thought, okay, it's, we're not, it's not. Not that big a deal. I talked. Yeah, I talked. Well, read it. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. I have it. It's right here. It says October. Maybe September. And it says possibly September. But I think I think our what we're more interested in too. Do you want to? No, I've, I've read it. So you know it says October. I think, you know that. I think, yeah, but it said it's but it says possibly September. You started in August. Right. Okay. Yeah. It could have been later. I mean, you know, you know, I don't know what you guys want us to do. Water. I mean, we want water. water. We want water. 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 It didn't have to happen this way well, at all. I don't know. No, but and why do you I tell us one thing and they tell us something else? Well, I have no idea. I mean, well, what other people you know, you know, water guy in the, uh, I've got here, I've land. got land, I've got cattle, I've got horses, I've happen. got everything you got. You think that I did it just because I wanted to shut the water off? I don't, I don't, I don't want the water shut off. I don't think that. I don't think that for a second. I'm not lying to you guys about this. But, but then why do we go downtown and talk to them? They just said, it's, you ought to hear what they tell us. The water master. I don't water know who they, they are, and I don't it's know it's where they were either. This was your fiduciary duty to keep our water on. This was the letter that said that you were going to keep our water on. Read it, please, so that you can't say that you don't know what was in it. Um, well, the water master is Travis Kiley. And he told me that everybody, all the agencies that have funded this, gave you an extension to work through the fish season. This didn't have to happen. And the gold healer, I know that somebody resigned here, this small in person. But um, they still main you, Scott. And I don't know if it was you or Peterson that was with them at the, um, the walkthrough. All three of us were there. We, uh, okay. yeah, it's a field trip on the field trip, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and at that point in time, even the contractors were kind of concerned about well, doing there weren't any contractors there in the field. No, the, the one we were on was a different field trip. That's a whole different thing. Well, we we, weren't, we the, weren't at that point. The, the, the contract, when, once they heard the Gold Hill Irrigation was the district, the board, said it was okay to go, they um, they said, okay, then they were up for bids. And that's when they left. And they went and they started giving the bids now. But anyway, I talked to the water master, and he told me that, and gave me the information. I spoke to Craig Tusk, who is the project coordinator with R.D. Cobb, and he said basically the same. He could not understand what was going on. What? I, I sat there with him several times and tried to get it put off, put off, put off. No, everybody said, you can't. It's got to get going. It's got to get going. It's got to get going. They, that's not what they told me. Well, well somebody's lying. Well, they are then. I mean, now that it's going, I guess they're going to say whatever they want to say. But that's not what they've been telling us all along. Can I interject something? I'm just a mushroom. I don't know anything. Who is they? Yeah. Who is the governing body that said you have to do this? Well, it's... I don't know the the well, whole you river. They, you said they said we <laughs> can't do it. Well, it's, it's the fish and wildlife, no fisheries. You know the. Uh, Did they send you a letter that says you have to do this right now, or the world will end? No, right now, as in this year. No, I mean we started this like two over two years ago. We started. Can, can I, we started can I, talking about this. We've had we've been talking about this in in this room for over two years. And what I'm a newbie That's my problem. up here. Mm -hmm. So when when did you guys put this out for bids? For the contractors? Yes. Sir. Oh, I don't know. A couple months ago. A couple months ago. ago. What was the bid date? What was the return date on the bids? I don't know. I don't have thirty any, days. I don't have any of that. Was it thirty days? Two weeks? What difference? I don't know. I, I don't know. But did you know at that time you were aware that you didn't have enough of the funds to finish the project before the bids were taken? No, no, we didn't find. We didn't know we didn't have enough money until we got the bids back. Okay, how would we know until we got the bids back? How was Reamer contacted? How did he get in the picture? Well, he was one of the bidders. There was six bidders, six bidders, I believe. And he, he came back with the lowest bid? No, nope, no. Nope. He was, I think, the second lowest. Um, but, the, the but, idea the, but then when it went to a two-part thing, the lowest bidder was willing to do a whole bunch of stuff. And then when it came right down to it, he raised his bid a lot. And then we dealt with Reamers. And 
they actually end up doing it a little cheaper for us and the two-part thing. So we ended up awarding them the contract. Well, when we, Everybody else was way higher. When, you turned, when we had the, the fires, it was on the day before it was supposed to be turned off. And apparently there were a few people that called you and pleaded with you not to turn the water off because of the fire problem. And that didn't seem to be an issue with you either. You went ahead and did it. I don't think there were people that called and pleaded with me not to shut the water off. And it's not out it's, it's not in my hands at that point. We, we, we called <laughs> because we're on Swiss Creek and we could see the fire from our yard. You called, my, you called me? No. You called me. Oh. oh. And, and, and called we called because, because uh, Please leave it on. Please leave it on to the fire happen. trucks. Right. I mean, it was burning all night. We didn't know it was coming our way. We thought if we just leave it on another day or two in case the fire trucks needed it. And even at that point, you turned it off and you didn't start the project. So it's just, this whole thing is just, it's a mess. And I think that we need to... Well, so ex explain to me, we turned the water off and didn't start the project. Mm -hmm. we didn't you say that you had to be done by the 15th of September? Right. Six weeks. We didn't. No, we, you can get extensions to do the in-stream work. You have to be started by a certain time. But they think they're going to be done with it by then, all the in-stream work. I think they'll be done... You know, about three, three. Or, I don't know when. I don't when they're going to strip the four hundred four tomorrow. And it's the, the pump thing going on. Back to that. Um, there wasn't any consideration about the pumps in the start because it was two two step process. I don't understand the question. Well, too expensive. It was too probably too expensive, but was wasn't even funded or even any kind of consideration. No, no. no. This two part project. That you keep you know, you know, I don't know what to tell you guys. You guys are sitting here beating us up of all the shit we should have done. I'm sorry. We've done what we've done. And I, I, I can't unring the bell. It's it's done. Scott, you, you keep mentioning a two-part contract. Can you explain to me what that is? Is it the first part putting in the new head gate and the second part putting in the pipe? No. What the first the part is the head gate and probably two-thirds of the pipe. Two-thirds. <laughs> And what's the second part? Finishing, finishing the last third of the pipe. And uh, why can't we put that first part of the pipe onto the second stage and get the water flowing and then do that later? I think we can. I think well, I think we can do that. that the, but there's going to be cost involved. So how much and, more could I, it could be minimal cost? You know, it, it, you know, if, you if it's if it's ten grand, I don't know. I mean, ten to twenty thousand bucks. And aren't they from anyway. Salem? Well, they have to give so you some sort all their stuff back to the sale. They have a penalty clause right. in the contract yeah. that if they stop our too much, that's your charge you for. Well, you don't have a penalty clause that they don't no, need. Well, there's a clause in there that it has to be done by a certain time. So we'd have, we'd have to renegotiate the contract to say give them time, and they're going to tell us what the cost is going to be, and then we're going to eat that money. But they're coming back anyway to make the show. Well, it's the same contract as right. Right. But, but like I just got to saying, not only are we doing that, but now we got to deal with with the fish salvage stuff. Again. Well, I mean, there's enough so, people here that go salvage the fish. Yeah, I think it's, 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 not, it's not that We're not easy. They're not going to let you just go in there and start catching We have nothing. We, have, we don't have $100,000, so it's not, anybody's not doing anything. We don't have the money to finish this project. Exactly. So it doesn't matter. But it will be there by next year. Well, we I, Scott, I got a you question. When when this whole thing started, when when this whole thing started, there's the group behind this whole thing called Water Watch, and they're a very very strong conservative conservative group out of Ashland, and they came to our board and correct me if I'm wrong, and they strong arm you people like the mob would do, and said, wait, correct me if I'm wrong, but hear me out, if you do not do what we want you to do. We will go to the state of Oregon, correct? Well, and we'll, see, impo and I, we'll impose fines against you know, the board. They they didn't start out nasty. They came to us and identified areas that we are non-compliance and said, you know, who they were. They've helped with all this other stuff. You're in non-compliance of all of this and this and this. We would like to help you. You know, obviously you could be fined for that, but we would like to help you, partner up with you, get grants to make you in compliance and make it better for the fish. So Okay, but who is who is Water Watch? Well since then I've learned a lot about Water Watch and I've talked to Bob Hunter, which is their board of director and attorney, which I talked to him after the last meeting. He doesn't care about the trees dying, quote. He doesn't care about 
no. the people that the water table, the wells have dropped, or they do not have working wells anymore, they now have to buy in water and store water for, for their household. And I says, you don't care about that either? He said, quote, no. I said, what do you care about? He says, we care about the, quote, fingerlings. Yeah. This group is a nothing group. They're not a state group. They're a conservative group. But they're a very powerful conservative group. So where they're getting their clout to start this whole mess yeah. is way beyond me. They're probably funded by Nestle, which, you know, either Pepsi or Nestle owns the water that you're holding your bottle. Probably, but that's how it all started. But here's my deal now. It started, they're the same people that fractured the dams when they had a cease and desist order signed by a judge. Do not touch those dams. They went in there, fractured the dams. I brought it to Bob Hunter's attention at the last meeting. And did he deny it? No, he circumvented it because it's the truth. So now it's done. My concern is it's done, but I want this thing completed on a timely fashion. And I want the same volume of water brought to our ditch that we had before. Period. And if we're going to have a problem with funding and grants and all this other stuff that's possible, we got big problems. Mm -hmm. And you guys are our representative. You're our mouthpiece. Scott, back to the post again. You keep saying that you don't have a line item figure for it. Why not? You, it is your duty to to give us water, make sure that we have water as the board, and you just overlooked this? I mean, you just guessed a guesstimate? I mean, this would have solved everybody's problem because we would have continued to have water. Who needs the water, too? It, 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 it wasn't a practical thing to do, I guess. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to tell you about it. Well, how do we get the water turned on sooner than later? I mean, to me, it's an easy thing. Don't do the pipe from the islands that had new head gates in. Let the water flow and do the pipe later. You say it might cost more money. We don't know how much it is. I mean, they should have a number they can give you. I mean, it's got to be minimal, minimal damages to them because they're still going to get the contract. And as I understand it, you don't have the money to finish it anyway. And if it's only going to be 10 or 20 more thousand, why wouldn't you just add that to the grant request? Yeah, exactly. Well, then, uh, I, you know, somebody's going to have to contact um, ODF and W, and we've, I mean, we've, We've got to go through all the people that are giving us the grant, saying that we're putting it off. Um, but just the pipe. We can do the. the that's pipe. the pipe. That's all we're putting it off. And we're putting it off until after the season. You don't the pipe back in the work river. can get happen during the winter time. You'll be out of the river. You'll just You're out of the down. river. That's what I think. Well, right, right. And so it's, it's not in stream work at that point. Right. Yeah. So I, really I mean, let's get the water turned on. That's and the that's my only thing. So I'm not here to fight with you. What's done is done. Let's get the water turned on as soon as we possibly can. And the guy up there yesterday said, it's doable. It's doable. They sure. said it's up they don't to want the board the to decide if they want us to put the pipes in now or later. They don't want it on ever again. Um, the, guy, the, the guy from Reiner is supposed to be there tomorrow, the, the owner or whatever, and I can go by there and talk to him. What's the name of the water, water is part of the, the river that goes back into the river contaminated? You know, normally, days. it's a 28 days, but they don't want. You know, they don't want to drop it. I river. would guess within a week they'll strip the forms off. Yeah, but when can they do a gate? We can use it. But we have to use it all. They don't. But you know, we've got that gate's got to be installed so that you can regulate the flow, and we've got to get ODF. You know, fisheries signed off that says yes, they'll come back and do another fish show. Scott, can't you regulate the old gauge? The old gauge? No, because we can't, I don't think they'll want us to spill back into the river. We're going to have to walk that off so it doesn't spill back into the river and we've got to regulate it at that head gate into our head. They want that ditch gone, shut down. Yeah, those will all be. Yeah, but walking that off shouldn't be a big issue. No, boards. Wood pumps solve that problem. Water much. Wood pumps solve that problem. No, no. So we've got to go against it. We've got to get rid of them. Away from you anyway. That would be great. And then everybody would be happy. You know, I'll have to get a hold of them and see what is it. If we can help in any way, we'll have some physical enough water. Then we'll have water. That's a problem. I asked that question no less than 20 times. And the engineers have all said, nope, that that'll give us an excess of what we're allowed to get. A hydrologist, somebody engineered that? 
the engineer maybe. that's hired that says that we can do that. I mean, he's in it, licensed in so, so he has a document that he has a calculation showing the world bottom line here. Would this be with okay. design? I mean, I yeah. asked that and asked that and asked that. But we do have a document that's that yeah. shows yeah. that the water volume is not going to be increased. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's upsized. Originally, it was going to be a 30 inch. Then we upsized the flow back to the river for the, the fish to return at the fish screens because of that loss of water. They upsized it to a three foot pipe and said that will flow more water than we're allowed to take in the ditch. But we do have a document from somebody that... From the engineer. From, from, the engineer. from River Design <laughs> Group that okay. engineered all that. That's great. That's great. So, so you know what, that's not if it doesn't work, work I guess we work. get to it's on them. sue them. Oh, and, yeah. It's on us. It's, it's on us, but oh, if they engineered it... Oh, I'm I'm out there to the <laughs> yeah. There you go. I mean, that's great. Good. So, Scott Wright is the engineer. That's with water design. River, with river design. design group, yeah. Do you know what the calcs are for the, um, or I how much we're I don't we're know the calcs. If I looked at them, I wouldn't understand them. You don't know what we're, what we're, the district is allocated? Yes, and we know how many cubic feet of water we're allowed to get. And how much is that? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. We're allowed 17 by the water master because we're one mile, over one mile in the canal. Therefore, it gives us a 0.25 addition. 17 cubic feet per water? Per, per second. Per acre? Or per, per second. Per second. It's, it's his choice to do this. He can take that much away because of the drought season. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. So, our ditch will only take about 14 cubic feet. It won't even take what we're allowed to have, or what the state says we can have. We can't even get that much in the ditch. So if they sized the pipe to get an exit, I think they sized it at 18 and a half or something because of the return, we should have more water than we can use. That's not what yeah, you guys told us out there at the ditch when we were there yesterday. He said, how much is this going to decrease our water? And he said, a bunch. Are you talking to the engineer? Oh, it's going to decrease no, the water a bunch contract. going down that he's ditch right here. No, I know he's not, but we can't get the paperwork from these people to tell us what is going to happen. So. Well, I mean, define what, I mean. So you put an 18 inch head gate in a 42 inch ditch, basically? No, there's not an 18 inch head gate. Oh, it's three foot. It's a three foot 38. All right, let's move on or we're going to be here like forever. Let's get through this and we can get our meeting and we can come back to an open forum. Um, um, Bob? Okay. Um, Bill Slater? Is that a, uh, that's a no. Donald Stone, maybe? I just uh, in agreement with all the rest of them. We're just wondering about we're just low on the totem pole, don't know what's going on, when we get the water, and why was it done the way it was done, who's responsible for making those decisions? Well, I guess we're responsible for making those decisions. You're fired. No, okay. sorry, I don't want your job. Thank you. <laughs> um, Any takers? We, we, the work had to be started with it, you know, for the fit, we, you know, we've been through that, but for the fish, uh, the coho salmon, all that, and, and I have done work in the past, totally unrelated to any of this, and yeah. there was an in-stream time you had to work, you can't do it in the winter time, um, so we had to start it, so, and that's what we've been told all along. So you made the decisions based upon the information you had available. Mm -hmm. Right on. Okay. Um, Shirley? You, I, I've had them answered already. Okay. Thank you. My questions. Okay. Uh, John Davis? Uh, actually, I think I have a question for the secretary. I've been overcharged as far as acreage on my property, so probably not a time to do it right now. I can check into it, Mr. Davis. Okay. And see how many acres that they have on the front counter for you that's irrigated, and then how much we have in our files. 
Yeah, part of my part of the property has been sold. And I'm being charged for. Oh. Well, so I've, I've got I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's a bookkeeping thing. You can talk yeah, to her over the phone without coming to the meeting. And not a problem. You guys should be able to take care of that. Okay. Yeah, without. Yeah. Uh, Mark and Janet? Actually, you've answered those, but the one thing I was asked, if you could, um, just to satisfy all of us that really need water like yourselves, we appreciate it. But if you could talk to the contractor, it's possible since he has to come back. If, if they could delay on putting the pipe in and we get this water back on for a month, then we all don't lose all our properties because it's a lot of money, as you know. But there's no reason why he shouldn't want to work with us since we're paying him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and, this, this, get the water turned right. on and yeah. do the pipe And then everybody's and happy. And, and, I mean, that pipe work should be done when we have all the rest of the money anyway. Well, or it could be done when you turn off the yeah, water. I would sure think we could just wait and, and do it all next year. But then you've got the danger of pipe prices going up. And, Can we buy the pipe down? Well, then who, who's going to store it? Can we bring it up to your house? Yeah. Yes. 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 Because I know the contractor is going to store it. And, I mean, if it is, we can help. You know, and it, might, it might be a supplier might. So you know, buy it and, and store it on their the supplier mine. Can so. we look into this thing? I mean, to, and <coughs> time is of the essence. Sure. You need water yeah. flow. Because what they said was, was they, you know, know if they, they could, once it, the four cures and they could open up so the gate, the then they could run that yeah. irrigation yeah. till the yeah. yeah. season. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it's not just us doing it. We've got to get the okay, like I said. All the fish people have got to okay to be doing that. You know, when we, when we shut it off. Just like every year. No, but closed. Every year we get that one. It never closes in the other year. It keeps running through. Like to buy it. And that's what one of the big complaints. Oh, and it goes off to the right. Yeah. 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 To me, that's a minor thing. Well, but yeah, yeah. That's to those fish guys, they're, they take it pretty seriously. So that, I mean, that's a whole situation that water flows through that canal year round. By law, we're not allowed to do that. We're only allowed to divert water, you know, between April and. October. 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 Fish things, cut so, the fish that are down after you turn it off. Yeah. I think we have enough volunteers so, here to go out and help well, you. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't fish that. You, you can't just go do that. They got little shocker things and nets and uh, they tally and keep it. Uh, it's, it's, we got it. But it was a one day thing. They told me it was a three day thing. They did it one day. Yeah, so there you go. go. And, and the, that big pool was one of the biggest areas, so they wouldn't even have that to do it. There you go. I mean, so it may be a something, will you, can we yeah. depend on you? They're going to have to bring an excavator back in and dress that canal back up. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're going to have to do work to get ready. I don't think they it, though. It's, it's still got all the rocks. You still have to take it out. I mean, should, well, we ask, I mean, should we ask everybody here if that's a plan of action that everybody's interested in doing? Maybe we're the only ones. I mean, is anybody, anybody interested here in doing the pipe later and getting this water flowing now? Well, let's see. And show the hands. Well, why don't you talk to the contractor tomorrow? Yeah. In the worst case scenario, we would have to foot the bill. The best case scenario is we ask for extra grant money to cover that. Right. Right. That makes Check sense. it out tomorrow. I'll find out. But, um, That'd be great. I will ask you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> um, Sally Ridgway. Scott, I just was. My question is, are we going to have enough water to bring the level back up in the ditch? You know my situation. I'm getting this much water. We're, we're supposed to have more, you know, more water than we can take. We should be well, able to regulate it to where we get just as much water as we've always had. This last year, we didn't have enough water. Yeah. We're down at least four to six inches at all times from what it was two inches. years ago. You know, that's I, no, 11 I inches. I went up and measured it. It's yeah, 11 inch lower. I, you know, I don't know. Fact. There's just as much water Listen running. I mean, we're if you go at the very, we can only it'll only go so deep at the beginning. So we're filling it as full as we can without it running over the edges. What happens when it gets to the very end? <coughs> okay. Either either we've got a lot of leaks or we've got a lot of people stealing water all the time. Okay. Now you said they don't want the. Water people 
water rights or whatever. We do not want any water going back into the river. That's correct. Well, at the head gate there. Oh, at, at the, the head, head gate, gate right the now we're diverting end. water year round and they won't let us do that. Water Watch doesn't want any water coming off the river and going back into the river because the term they use is now the water is contaminated. Quote. Well, well, they call it a false attraction. False yeah, attraction for the fish. They go up the right stream. Well, but continuing. anyways, what, I mean, it, when we let the water in the canal, it's, it's pretty well full, you know, the first mile. I mean, it's full. We can't, we can't put more water in it, it'll run over the edges. Well, it's not anywhere well, then, what it used to be Then that, That's ago. got nothing to do with us not putting it in the ditch or whatever. That has going to have to be... People taking the water. Leaks or people watering out a turn and taking water and it's just not getting to the end. I mean, that is yeah. that is always our biggest... I mean, before we shut the water off, I went around on a Saturday morning with Richard and shut some people off in Zone 2 early to try to get water to zone three before zone two's water time was up because we weren't getting water to zone three. We just, it's just been a struggle. The part 26 of that, acres the next Part of it's the Foots Creek flume. It's still. It's still. Oh yeah. It's, I mean, the pine needle didn't fix it. <laughs> no. And I've got a contractor scheduled to do that this fall. Um, we don't have the money to pay him all of it. He's going to, you know, get it done and, and take the balance, I guess. Come January, February, we get the revenue to pay him. But I'm spending money I don't have to fix that. Um, you know, I had a Bob well, Bingham said Pierce, that they're yeah, going to. He said he had a guy to do it for five grand. He was talking about his head gate lateral. I mean, and I knew better. I mean, I know I knew that that pipe. It was impossible. I couldn't begin to do that. There's a lot of excavation and all that but um you know we're losing a lot of water there at the foots creek flume right now yeah, i mean we haven't been losing all that water you all know, for two years but right now we are well mr bingham is going to start irrigating that 26 acres that hasn't been irrigated in, in seven years when he does that that's yeah. going to take yeah. our water well and i've got on our agenda later to discuss how to deal with patrons watering out of turn we've got to do something yeah. We've got to start finding people. Should we got to do something to get that under control? Because summertime, I don't. There's not a day I don't talk to, when I talk to Richard. He's well. This guy's water, and this guy. Will, will you come with me over here? I mean, all summer long we're talking right. to people, and the problem is, the the reward is is way greater than the risk. I mean, you get caught water at turn. You get like, oh, you can't do that anymore, and oh, okay, and they shut the gate, and the next week they got it on again. So. We've got to do something to mediate people from watering out a turn, which is one of our bigger problems of getting water to the end of zone three, okay. too. So. You need to lower your head gate down about 10 inches and you'll get plenty of water. It's too high. Well, yeah, but you were told I'm already out $2,800 for Scott that thing. both told you that when you put the well, head but gate see, down. Richard, when we did that, we went by the old water line, we would have had a lot of water, but the ditch never gets that water level again. Um, Jim. You already answered. Okay. Uh, Susan and Chuck. Good? No, we're good. Okay. Uh, Elaine Fisher? No yes or no? They didn't say one way or the other. Okay. Um, Kathy and Bob? No, yes or no? Okay. No. Um, Chuck, maybe? Yeah. You've had enough time here. <laughs> no. Okay, now i got a couple things to say. First of all, uh, I've been on this grid for 12 years, and when I made the comment that the water in the ditch was lower than usual. I went up there and monitored it. It was turned down from what it was a good 11 inches because I measured it. Richard says no. I'm saying yes. I brought I brought this up at a meeting uh, two years ago when Larry was alive, right? And miraculously, the next day the water got turned up. Now, okay, go figure that one. Well, I don't know how that happened. We got okay. we need to monitor it, I guess. But I know the water was turned down. 
And you sit there and say bull. No. I'm, I'm saying but, bull. Well, I'm but Rocky, you, well, you don't understand the dynamics of the ditch, too. You start getting later in the winter, and you start getting a bunch of that duck, or the summer, you start getting that duckweed growing in there. Oh, I know. And it raises the water up. You've got to put less water in the ditch because that's displacing so much water. Okay, that you may... You can't get as much in the ditch. May, maybe well and fine, but so why the next day, miraculously, it's up and everybody's getting a fair amount of water. Uh, okay, apparently now... Apparently you forgot. We talked about this, remember? Yeah, we've talked a couple and, times about it. And I told you that I went up the next day and turned the water up. Yeah, why wasn't it up before, though, Richard? Because I was on vacation. Larry was running the ditch. Okay, well, somebody's playing with the ditch. So well, we need we to... Play, you play with the ditch weekly sometimes. Okay, well, like Sally says, we need to keep... And she may have a separate individual problem. I don't know. But we've got to keep that ditch level up. And I've heard it's because of repair work. The lower we keep it... The less repair we have to do. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Or, I don't know if that's true or not. Saying that. Okay. So I that's mean, that. I've, that. I've done more repairs on this ditch than it's been done in a long I, time. I know you I have. Years. I mean, I'm not looking to get out of doing repairs. I just as soon get the whole damn thing fixed. And okay. Not worry about it. But. Okay. So I just want to address when someone says "bull" up there to what's being said out here. I'm going to tell you how it really well, was. Well, I mean, you, you got to get the whole story, though, Rocky. Like he says. When Larry's doing the ditch, Larry doesn't walk the whole ditch. He doesn't know if there's, I mean, he can go to a grate and start cleaning it and realize, ooh, there's more should be here, less should be here. Starts looking for problems. You get somebody temporary doing it, they don't know all that. If he keeps it cranked way up and they one night decide a windstorm don't go clean grates, we've got floods. Okay. Clean so Clean what grate? Okay, so there, there's a half a dozen or more grates on a ditch that have to be cleaned sometimes twice a day. Yeah, we clean our own grate. No, not for your, not the grates. That not, go to, not for the head gate, but I'm talking about our individual gates. Yeah, we're talking okay. about there's grates that go under roads, there's grates that go Got under Got it, flow, I know that. And if we don't keep those clean, they plug up and, you know, the motel's getting flooded. I mean, all kinds of terrible things that happen. All right, okay, the other thing is I want to bring up is we're supposed to get our water turned on uh, at the first part of April. And in 12 years that I've lived here, it's never been turned on in the first part of April since I lived here. Well, So we've been cheating out of a month because it usually gets turned on around May 5th to May 10th. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're allowed so, to turn okay, it on. Okay, hear me out. Okay. So we're getting screwed out of one month of water there. Now we're getting screwed out of two and a half months of water here. That's three and a half months that I'm paying for. I want my money back. Okay? okay, and I've been told by Maureen that you only have the right for water. We can turn the water on one day and turn it off for the season and you're done. In one of our conversations. Well, that's bullshit. Okay. Well, I mean, technically you're paying for the delivery the right of the right to water. have the water. The delivery of the water. Okay, well, I feel that we need to be reimbursed for three and a okay. half months. Okay, well, would you like me to address that? I would. Okay. We are allowed to open it up April 1st. There's been a lot of meetings that are April 3rd meeting, April 5th meeting, April 1st meeting. It's raining outside. It's, I mean, there, there's gonna, and it's forecast for rain for the next two weeks. It's kind of dumb to open up the ditch and just let it run down the ditch and back in the river because nobody's gonna water. We but, always turn it on when the rains kind of stop and things start drying. We all have property. We all know it's like, look, it's time to start irrigating, and we turn the ditch on. Okay, but we, we should don't be the turn ones it on to, just because, you know. We oh, should I be can, the ones to judge when we, once we have the right to turn it on. You guys turn it on on May first. Let us be the judges of when we want our water turned on physically at each residence. We don't need you to be the judge when you need to water my property. Well, I guess some people so need let's to turn, to the meetings let's say, turn it on. Well, let's, maybe we should do something different. Let's turn Nobody's it on. Nobody's ever said that to me, Rocky. Okay, so We've let's, let's turn it on on April 1st like it's supposed to be. Well, it's kind and of And let us be the judge, to not you guys. In the ditch you when it's raining out. outside. You're going to flood the motel. Well, you find well, you flood the motel. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so this is what and happens, Rocky. Okay, it's, we got a big rainstorm coming, but it's April 1st. We're putting water in the ditch. And we get a really big rain. And all that runoff, because the ground's saturated, it's been raining all winter, it all goes into that ditch, and we cannot dump that water out of the ditch fast enough to get rid of it. 
Really? Real liability. There's water running. I mean, that ditch, in the wintertime, there's part of that ditch runs pretty full from runoff. So you start putting water in it first of April and you get heavy rains, you got problems. You get blowouts. So somebody, okay, somebody's going to have that. to get up in the middle of the night and clean grates. Okay, I didn't know that, so I apologize all. for that. But I didn't know so, about I mean, that. There is a reason we do all this. Okay. We're, our job isn't to screw you guys out of water. It really isn't. <laughs> it's not. It's not you guys that are screwing us out of water. But if you learn, if you study and you look into water, watch. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking well, about am. getting it, it, water in the beginning of the year. Okay. We do it when things start drying up and we know people need water, we start putting it. And there's a lot of times we put it in the water and there's almost as much running out at the end of the ditch as it is in the end front of the ditch because nobody's taking it. I mean, there are a few people, but very few people water. So that's the reason for that. Okay. That's not entirely true all the time. In the last couple of three or four years, the water hasn't, I mean, we needed water way before it's been on. You know, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't remember sitting out in my field thinking, boy, I wish well, I, I had some water. We, no, we, do. we, we have, have a lot of ditch you know, work going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a real quick question if I can, and it has to do with your know, maintenance and everything. I mean, is it okay? I mean, if we see obstructions in the ditch, we have an area where there's a little buildup and everything, we clean it. You can shovel it out, sure. All right, but I wasn't sure we about do. that because we had some big, right there at the flu, some dams, and I just took it upon myself and opened them up. Uh, I mean, there and there are gates, um, spillways, kind of at some of the creeks and some of the areas that Richard boards up, takes boards in and out. We can't have patrons mess around with those. There's a reason he puts them in and out. Yeah, I'm and, about the and somebody can come in and put one in or take it out and back up water, and we've got we got a washout. So, you know, borders and those spillways can't be messed with. People are supposed to clean their area of the ditch, right? Well, it would be nice if they did. Yeah, They're supposed to. There's, yeah, that's what I thought. But Just write the regulations. But I don't know very many people that do. Rocky didn't know we do. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know we were every year. And there's places we bring an excavator yeah. in every couple of years just to clean the muck out. Can we uh, citizens get in there with an excavator and muck it out? Yeah. When when oh, when there's an no, excavator? No, no, no. When there's no water in the ditch. Uh, nah, we don't want to risk breaking or over digging or doing something. No, we yeah. We get holes. In it. Yeah. But if I call you and say, okay, I got this problem area. Can you come down and, and we can come look at it and see what we need to do? Sure. Okay. Yep. Yep. My offer for digging the ditch for the pipe on the Foots Creek side still stands. Because every year it breaks and our water's off for a week or two. I will dig the ditch and put the pipe in. There's, yeah, there's a lot to, they've got concrete that's got to come out of there. And I've got that, though. I will, I will spend the time. I want to get so that pipe fixed once and for all. So. Well, it's, I've, I've got it in the schedule. <coughs> so I've got a bunch of names here with no, no maybe's anything. Uh, Jim, Jim Lamont. Yeah, um, I just want to let you know I appreciate all I guys are doing for it. Oh, thank you, Jim. Uh, you know, I know, it, I know it's hard with what you're doing with this um, project. Um, just so other people know, when you do a project this size in the scope, it is. You're working with vendors. It's not an easy thing to just make a change. I know you've got the swan net and I... What are you going to say when the water's not enough water? What I'm saying is like, I know how much anger you have to not have water, but you can't do these things overnight. You're asking him to do something and give you an answer tomorrow. I don't think he's going to be able to get it. I should have been I should have been able to get it. I would appreciate what you've done, Scott. Thank we you. appreciate I've it. I've already too. taken my situation, and it's just what it is. Uh, yeah. I know you'll do everything you can to help. And like I said, it's not anyway. It's not something that's going to happen every year, every two years, every five years. This is it's a one-year thing. It's fixed. It's fixed. We're done with it the rest of our life. Um, Jerry, Put that in minutes, please. Uh, Robert <coughs> Harriman. No. Uh, Christina. No. Um, something Smith. Russell Smith. No, you already answered. Deb West. No. No. Um, K. Wenden. Wenden Bad. Wenden Brook. Wenden something. K. 
Ray. 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 Oh, Ray. Still, still no Ray. Uh, no, no. Um, Mary. No question. No question. No, no. Um, and Olivia. Um, yeah, I'm I'm new here, and I guess my basic question is. Um, I understand the project, but I, but I'm having a hard time understanding the timing. I guess if I'm understanding there's grants involved, and with those grants, was it a part of those grants that it was done right now? No, no. The the reason it was done right now is because ODF and W and NOAA Fisheries, I guess, the fish people don't allow you to do in-stream work except during a finite amount of time. So from everything we've been told, it had to be started within a certain amount of time. It couldn't be you know, just done in November or springtime or whatever. Mm -hmm. Although those would be really hard times with high water because they're having yeah. to dam all that up to do this work. Um, so, so what was the like time the frame? Um, we had to start by... August 15th, I think. September. Uh, June 15th to September. Or, I don't know. There was dates. Yeah. And, and part of it was, I mean, originally it was scheduled to happen kind of the end of August. But the way it worked with the contractor schedule, I mean, we had that schedule, but nobody had given him that with all the emails and all the stuff back and forth. We had the fish salvage scheduled for, I think, August 28th or something. Mm -hmm. And so they were going to actually start shutting the water off August 27th. The contractor, through all the emails, everything back and forth, I mean, it was all scheduled for that fish salvage. Somehow, the contractor never got that. The contract said that, you know, gave him a period of time to, to do the work, and he had scheduled to start it. And then, the, then it became a whole conflicting thing. He had other job he couldn't start then. He'd have to wait till afterwards. Well, can we get an extension and do it afterwards? No, they wouldn't let us start it later. So he ended up having to start it earlier. And that was kind of just a last minute. That was, I think, right after the last meeting we had. I was yeah. on the phone with all of them. I was really thinking at that point it was going to start, um, you know, first part of September, maybe September 5th. But that didn't happen. But it couldn't happen in October. No. Nope. No. Nope. There's no way it could happen in October. From everything I've been told. I mean, somebody could have maybe knew all the right things and could ask all the right questions and could have gotten it done. I don't know. But all the questions we asked, trying to get it as late as we could, yeah. we couldn't do it. Yeah. A question. Just what you're doing now is probably going to go through as it is planned right now. Um, next year, when they go to do phase two, right? With what time frame do you plan on starting that? Is it going to be another August thing, or is it going no? To be be, because of the in-stream window that we had to do the in-stream work, that's what they're doing now. Once that's done, um, at the end of our irrigation season next year, we can shut that down, and they'll be able to work in that canal and do all the. In then we're not in stream, we're just in our dry canal. So that would be somewhere in October or something when right. you right. do that? Right. Are you talking about this year or next year? Yeah. Well, phase two is probably going to happen next year after irrigation season. All the pipe. They could do no, the phase two. Well, I mean, which if, would, you, if you cut off the piping, like right. everybody well, wants. Yeah, and I don't know now if, I would guess, even if we stopped them from doing the pipe now, they would still do phase one piping at the end of this year so that we don't have to do the fish salvage okay. next year when we shut it off, okay. I would guess. Yeah. But, I mean, Logic. we've already got the money to do most of that. I would think we would do that. And now I'll have to ask Bob Hunter or whoever I have to ask if, you know, if we end up, because our, I think they're, the bid we have to do that's a hundred dollars under our grant money. So I mean, we've spent every dime to do what we're doing now. 
So if we stop them from doing that to later, you know, and it costs another five grand or ten grand or whatever, I don't know if we can pay that, the irrigation board can pay that and get grant money to repay us back. I don't know. I have to ask those questions. I don't know how any of that works. Well, it sounds like some of these people are willing to pay it. So Well, I mean, we're, we would all be paying it. Yeah. And yeah. just so everybody knows, we're going to get an, a special assessment this year. I don't know if we'll raise our rates again or just do a one-time special assessment. Because that Foots Creek flume is going to cost more than we have to fix. We're going to have to raise twenty grand to pay that. So, are they working on that yet? No. On that? Oh, okay. I thought you thought you was going to try. No, I've to got a contractor. Um, in fact, I talked to him today and reminded him. He goes, "I'll get it. I'll get it by you know winter time." So he's going to do it this fall at some point. I mean, I was wanting him to try to maybe get it done. Well, if we could turn the water back in sometime in October, but it, that's not going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Maybe everybody already knows the language, but I'm just confused on what the fish salvage actually is. They're in the creek or they're, well, they, they're in the river? When they shut the water off, they're in that, that, that big ditch that we run water through that we're not allowed to run water through out of our irrigation time. And they get caught in the... Little, the little rocks and pools and under crevices and so where is that where is that area the actual area that's up, I don't want to go upper it river out. road kind of you go up upper river road before you cross the railroad tracks it's kind of clear down at the end there it's kind of there's a big fall looks like yeah, Hayes Falls Hayes Falls Hayes Falls yeah kind of right at the bottom good fishing hole. <laughs> well, and if you're a fisherman, you'll like this project because you'll be able to walk across any of that to get to those fishing holes. You won't have to. Have Ten million fish. You won't have to go across all the logs. <laughs> okay. Anything else we need to broach before we get it onto our regular business? That's just one question. It seems like there's a lot of questions about the engineering and specifications, and aren't those 18 pages of documents at RV Coggets? Looks like it's a pretty complete. Yes, yeah, there's, there's there's a lot of. It'll answer just about any question that you've got about flow and everything else. Too big to carry. Yeah. There's. I don't know if I have all that engineering here. No, it's it's well, we, I just used my neighbor's machine and went to your site and it linked right to RV Cogs in 18 pages of yeah. real concise engineering drawings that right. tell you the whole story. I have something that came up on a computer for gravity fed and what we're allowed and what we're, what you guys have just said that we're going to get and it comes short of what we're allowed right now. So I mean, it was that simple. I don't know where he got his information, but uh, this was done. This is a calculation if anybody would like one. A calculation for what? what now? How much we're supposed to get, the discharge rate, and how much you guys are saying that you will, that you will get us. The fall, yeah. That's with the fall. And there not, is the fall. I mean, the problem, there's one foot of fall in a thousand feet. It's like 0.01% slope. It's virtually level. So, and that's not going to change. <laughs> no, and that's, I mean, we had this conversation with that engineer. I mean, if we ask him once, we ask him 20 times. This That size pipe was going to carry that and... All we got was yes. They've done all the calcs. They've done. And there was a conversation we had about covering the pipe because it's going to be blocked off in the winter time in an empty pipe. You don't have to worry about the coverage. About well, that pipe will float. We get high water there. That pipe will float out of the ground. He's like, oh, we we I said, well, what's the coverage? And the, they were showing 24 inches of coverage. The pipe spec said 26. I said, well, you're already under that and then if you get a couple wet years and people walking and driving across it and pretty soon 24 becomes 18 and then you get a high water that comes out of the ground so now they've addressed that they're supposed to be getting more rock on there more coverage and then they're going to place a bunch of the big boulders and rocks kind of all along that to 
help hold it down and erosion and to keep people from driving on it. Yeah. So, you know, we've asked the questions whether it, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to do the calcs. I mean, I'm not an engineer to say. Well, no, I just, I mean, the comment that I was making is it seems like there was a lot of questions in all of those. It, it's all right there. There's right. 18 pages of engineer drawings that seem very complete to me. Right. Hey, Scott, it's with where they're at right now on their, their start, where do you see it being completed for this year? Well, they at one time they were hoping to have it done close to the 1st of October, but I don't know if they can do that now or not. So, now, so if that's the case... I was hoping maybe the second week in October we could put water back in there. Okay, that's just what I was going to ask. So if they can get this done around the between the 1st and the 2nd week, we can conceivably have our water turned back on mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're kind of in a catch-22. You turn on October, it's going to be shut off yeah. November. So, I mean, well, why should November? Yeah. Well, month well, month a, month a month of water is yeah. better, better than nothing. nothing. It is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I don't know if we could talk to the water master and ask him, you know, it, it all depends on the weather. You know, typically, it you know, typically Halloween it pours down rain. So, but if for some reason we had a real dry November, I, I don't know if we could talk to the water master if he has the authority to give us an extension on that due to what we went through. I don't know. I'd have to ask him that. I'm just trying to get a feel for a start date and a completion date. So, so, you know, I, Mark, that yeah. 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 Shouldn't there be a start and stop date and, I mean, a start and completion date in the contract? Yeah, there is. But that doesn't always hold true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the completion date is, I mean, their completion date is probably <laughs> the 1st of November or something. I mean, they're giving themselves enough time. Obviously, they're not going to give you a date that they're pushed to get. Um, I mean, they lost, they've already lost two days there because their hose, somebody put out a paper kind of reporting activity, no activity, nothing's happening. Well, I mean, if you get, if you talk to them and get the whole story, their machinery broke down with leaking hydraulic fluid, they can't get in the river, they had loaded it up, took it to Medford, got one coming from Sacramento or something to get the thing fixed. I mean, Scott, things happen. Sometimes them. you go to town and you get a flat tire. That's on them. That's on them. They need to... Maybe that we can. Well, sure, it's on there, but that's why they're not going to give letter. you a completion date based on nothing going wrong. I mean, every you know, I know you build I'm a house and you you know you can build a house in 30 days. You're not going to tell somebody. I guarantee you, you'll be in 30 days because you don't know what's going to happen. So are you going to uh, find think, them if they don't? If they don't, th there's a clause in there that if he's not completed by that date, date, yeah, their fines levied. Yeah. Okay. But he he's got plenty of time to get it done within the window. Well, yeah, well, the contract we heard yeah. six weeks max. Now I'm here in three months max. No. I don't know all the particulars. I, I know. That's what, we, that's what you heard. We heard six weeks max. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. They no, we said they thought they would take from four to six weeks. Three to six weeks. That's what they thought it would take. It might take seven. It might take eight. It might take four. You know. Well, I go back to you know. Day, they start year. digging. They hit. They hit a lot more bedrock than they figured and they got to hammer on a hoe for two or three days longer than they thought it's going to take them longer i, I still go back to let's put the pipe in later well the water flow down so why you talking about blasting rock so why you talking about blasting rock if you're not putting the pipe in right right so, all righty well anything else anybody got questions on that we probably can't answer. Build up Sally.
coming out the other end. I mean, it doesn't come out full at the other end. So, so you know, we, that's why we question whether that would carry that. Yeah. Your discharge rate is 927 there You're allowed by your water machine, which is true, or 17 which is 1,020. And this is done with a 24 inch wall. Several times they So that unless you're, you know, literally pumping hard with that, you're still You're not in three point feet or your water. Yeah. And if their argument to me was, well, you're over your water right, well, well, this is under So all I'm saying is I hear people saying, you know, so I'm putting it all for the mechanic saturation and it's repaired to be a lot of things. But now when they comes down to the usage and we don't have the right amount of water on the right, you're going to be really All I'm saying is obviously we need to be able to fill our dish at the beginning. That's all I'm saying. Because if you don't want to then it's going to go down into a little bit of water that are going to be Those are the parts of the water that are really created. I know it, it never comes out the other end because it's always running away from itself. Six foot wide ditch that's you know, this deep. Yeah. And 
And you know, and it's not all flowing, but we know that when you start raising a pipe up the hole, and now it's only going this deep, it's not a full amount. It's just the hands are the hands are the floor. That's what it is. Late game. And they're the 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 Keep going, keep going. Wash, you've got <laughs> no, to put bends in it, you know, all that. This part of it is just... Oh, so now? What one particular in that document are you trying to make a point? What in particular on that document? There's a lot of information. Well, what the document shows is a 36-inch pipe, a quarter mile long. It's got a roughness coefficient. They put in 140, which is not bad, not good. It's just an average coefficient of drag in the pipe. Now, this is with a drop of 24 inches, and it shows it being a discharge rate is 927 cubic feet a minute which is under their water right. Okay. And that's with 24 inches of fall, and there's not 24 inches of fall. It's almost level in a quarter mile. So what happens is that they're under their water right with that pipe. And like this gentleman was saying over here a moment ago, without a pump filling the pipe and giving pressure to it, it will not even flow this way at a very still. It'll, it'll start having problems. I, I've heard that the average uh, flow for the Rogue River is 2,200 CFS. That's a lot of water that's being pushed through. It's still a gravity feed. Once you take it off to the side and put it into that pipe, slow it down. Just the gravity, gravity feed, feed, yeah. Because yeah. the, the other water will they lose that water. pressure. Okay. It's not, it's not like you're directing it into a channel with another pipe. To do that correctly, you'd have to do, a, a, like, say, an 8-foot pipe to a 4-foot pipe to a 3-foot pipe. You know, you'd have to drop it down 8-foot, 6-foot. And once you start doing that down, like, ideally, that intake should have been put upstream, and then that direction of flow with a pipe to pump that a quarter mile. They're going to have enough water.